All right, everybody, welcome to the Real Sports Rundown. And I just got one question for you folks, man. I want you to ponder this throughout the show because I'll explain it at the end. What would Nolan Ryan do? Hmm. the show where there's so much to be gained get ready to be educated and entertained when it comes to sports there's no fooling around here's ryan with his real sports rundown All right, while well, y'all sit there and ponder that question just a little bit, what would Nolan Ryan do? I'll explain more on that here later. But first, man, we're going to talk about something I have not talked about in a very, very long time, man, and that is boxing. That's right, man, bringing back in some boxing. You got Pacquiao versus Claudi coming up this Saturday, and everybody's like, wow, all right, it's a boxing fight. It's Pacquiao versus Mayweather. Oh, wait a second. No, it's not, man. It's versus Claudi. Who the hell cares about that fight? Uh, Pacquiao should win that fight. I'm not taking anything away from Claudi. I'm just saying Pacquiao's Pacquiao. All right, because everybody wants to see Mayweather, but then Mayweather is facing Sugar Shane Mosley, and see, there's another thing. There's another fight that he's trying to hype up that, I mean, don't be wrong, I'm not saying it's not going to be a good fight, but I just, I don't care about that fight. I want to see Mayweather versus Pacquiao, but Mayweather keeps sidestepping along, and I said this, you know, months ago when I had my good friend Screw and uh, Sitzman on the phone. We were talking about it. I said the fight would not happen, and it, it, apparently I'm still right on that aspect of things, man. I want to see Pacquiao versus Mayweather, not Mayweather versus Mosley, not Pacquiao versus Claudie. I don't care about those guys, man. I want to see Pacquiao versus Mayweather. And one thing I got to point out is I was watching PTI, and they were interviewing Mayweather, and I was like, all right, you know they're going to ask about Pacquiao. What are they, I wonder how he responds. I want to see what he has to say about this and see him defend himself, not through a statement, not through his trainer, not through a lawyer, promoter, whatever you want to call it, out of his own words, out of his own mouth. I want to hear what he had to say. He wouldn't even mention Pacquiao's name. How pathetic is that? All that says to me is that you are a scared little boy, Mayweather. That's right, you're a scared little boy. That's all that matters, man. Because you know they call you Floyd Money Mayweather, man. You're not you're not Floyd Money Mayweather to me no more, man. You're Floyd. I'm a little scared boy, Mayweather. Because you're scared of Pacquiao, man. Just say it. You're going through all these loopholes trying to get all this stuff done. You're scared of them. Bottom line. So as much as I love to watch good boxing fights, these two fights will be pretty good. Nowhere near what it was supposed to be with Pacquiao Mayweather. So, you know, moving on from that. All right, now normally I'm not gonna, I don't like talking about football. Football season's over, but this has nothing to do with football, just a football player. Ben Roethlisberger is in trouble yet again, man. You would think that this guy, Super Bowl champion in the limelight, already got in trouble one time for this, would learn his lesson the first time. This goes to show you how stupid some athletes can be, man. I love Ben Roethlisberger. I love his play. I love how he's tough. But, man, dude, you are an idiot. He's gotten accused of a sexual assault for the second time and just a little bit over a year since the last time this happened. And he was cleared of charges that time. But then you have the same problem happen again. And so now what do you do? I mean, when do these athletes get it through their heads? Look, you just got in trouble for doing something like this. Why are you going to go to a college town with a bunch of people there you know, 20-something years old, looking to basically probably screw you over and try to get some money out of you, when are you going to learn your lesson? Now, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for the most part, but if it comes to be true, I'm not going to be surprised by this, man. And then it's just going to be like his career's over, man. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You can't do that. I mean, twice in less than a little bit over a year, you're going to have this problem happen to you, man. These athletes got to get it through their heads, man. You are not God, okay? You cannot do whatever the hell you want. You cannot bang and screw whoever you want and not get away with it, all right? It's just the way it is. Whether you're not married or married, you cannot get away with it. What makes you think you can get away with it, man? It always comes back to bite you in the ass, man. They always say karma's a bitch. Well, guess what? It's about to be one for Brothelsberger if he's not careful, if he keeps going down this path. Look at Tiger Woods, y'all. That's all I got to say. All right, man, moving on to some uh, baseball news, man. Joe Nathan, the closer for the Twins, man, is done for the year, man. Tore a ligament. That's going to hurt those guys out for a long, long time because, well, no, Joe Nathan is a great closer. So now what do the Twins do, man? Going into a new stadium, they're not in the dome anymore. So, I mean, how does that really affect their season? We're going to have to wait and see, man. Hopefully it might be closer by committee and the Twins might have a rough time. But if they if they can re-sign Joe Maurer, they're, they're sitting pretty. 
All right, moving on to some basketball news now, man. The Dallas Mavericks have won 13 in a row, man. That's right. The Mavericks have won 13 in a row, man. They are on a roll ever since that trade for Haywood and Butler, man. That's just That was a good trade that worked out for those Mavericks, man. Now, are they going to be a tough team in the beat in the West? That's right. They are. Can they beat the Lakers? I would like to think they probably could, and it could be them or Denver. I think one of those two teams have a chance to upend the Lakers, but the problem is those two teams are going to have to face each other, probably to face the Lakers in the West Finals, and they're going to beat up on each other, and that's going to be perfect pickings for the Lakers. So, I mean, uh, the Lakers are going to come out of the West. I'm still not sold on that just yet. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. One team I will point out, man, watch out for the Thunder, man. Oklahoma City, they might scare somebody in the first round. They might even pull a first-round upset depending on who they play, man. Kevin Durant, great player. I believe he should get the MVP, man. Forget LeBron, forget Kobe. Kevin Durant's been playing lights out, and he deserves the MVP. So I think we should give it to him. But, you know, that's enough said. Uh, sticking with basketball, though, man, Allen Iverson had to leave the team for good for the rest of the season for the, you know, to take care of his ill daughter. So supposedly now a report comes out that he is suffering from gambling and alcohol issues. Who is surprised by that? At, see, once again, we're talking about athletes that are famous and have lots of money. They always gamble and they always drink, okay? And they always like to have sex and meet all kinds of women. Once again, I mean... Pete, these athletes are going to have to learn, man. And the thing is about it, I guarantee he's like, I don't have a problem. I can take care of myself. The thing is, though, athletes, you are human, okay? You superstars, y'all are human beings, just like low-level fools like me, you know, that doesn't have the rich, doesn't have the fame, doesn't have any of that stuff, man. you got to get it through your head. You are human. Sometimes you need help. Allen Iverson, I, I hope you get through all this stuff, man, but your career needs to just end. You just need to go ahead and hang it up, dude. You're done. All right, now, uh, actually going back to baseball here for a minute, man. Nomar Garcia Parra, uh, former shortstop of the Red Sox, retired from baseball, but he signed with the Red Sox for, like, you know, the whole one-day contract thing, and he retired as a Red Sox. To me, that bothers me. That bothers me to no end, okay? If you retire, you retire with the team that you last played for, you know, because you... I understand you were the Red Sox. You, were, I mean, you're a big stint in that Red Sox team for so long. I understand that. Same thing happened with Emmett Smith. Played for the Cardinals, then retired, signed the one-day contract, you know, and all that stuff. That bothers me for some reason. Why? Why do you have to re-sign with the team for one day just so you can retire as that, you know, uh, under that team? You know what I mean? When you retire, everybody knows you retire as a Red Sox, a Charger, a Cowboy, an Astro, whoever. You know, that we know that's what you retire as. You don't have to resign with them for one damn day. It makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. So get, another thing that just it just bothers me and irks me, but Garcia Power Man, great player. Um he just I don't think he got the credit he truly deserved in his years in Boston, obviously because they didn't win the championship. They traded him the year that they actually did. I I think that kinda hurt him a little bit, but you know. Alright guys, time to get to my question. It's called Did You See That? That's right. Did you see this? Because I want to ask y'all a question when you watch this video. What would Nolan Ryan have done when this Cuban player ran out after the pitcher after being plunked and chased him with the bat. That's right. I want you to think about that. Would Nolan Ryan have ran away like a little girl? Hell no. Nolan Ryan would have stood right there and said, I dare you to swing the bat. And then when the guy would have missed, Nolan Ryan would have got him in his usual headlock, took the bat instead of his fist and started beating him over the head with it. That's what he would have done. Just like old Robin Ventura-like days, man. That was a great Great thing that happened a long, long time ago, but that was a great thing, man. Nolan Ryan, the old man, beating the crap out of somebody young. I guarantee Nolan Ryan would have stood there and not ran away like a little scared little girl. So, all right. And, uh, all right, guys, we got March Madness coming up, man. Selection Sunday is coming up this Sunday, and I will have my uh, pick who's going to win the championship this year in college basketball. It's going to be a tough one, though, man, because uh, there's not a distinct number one team out there right now. So who's going to win the title? We don't know because there's no dominant team out there. So I'm going to have to kind of think this one through, think long and hard, and pick out my winner. Because you know, guys, I'm always right when I make my predictions. Sort of. Kind of. Anyways, everybody have a great time. Everybody enjoy the spring break if you're on it, man. And uh, everybody have a good one. And we'll see you all next week. Peace out. To be gained, get ready to be educated and entertained. When it comes to sports, there's no fooling around. Here's Ryan with his real sports. Run down.